I'm just going to show you guys how to create a class library and I'll base the example on your current prac and we'll just use a class library as um, sort of a container to hold all our classes and create a DLL from that and with that DLL I'll be able to access all the classes um, and the, the pretty advantage of, of DLLs is, is that it, it it it's a form of polymorphism if you haven't heard heard about that term you guys should look it up um, but basically all you need to do is fire your Visual Studio um, it didn't work when I was trying to show you guys um, um, during the SI um, Murphy's Law wasn't with me clearly but um, I'm gonna um, start by creating a new project um, from there what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna create my class library like that and I'll name my class library university library okay now remember you need to think of a, uh, a class library as sort of like a, just a container um, and um, and 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 nothing else so I'm just gonna create this thing um, in this folder school 2014 um, I'm just create a new folder bit of lag on my PC because of the, the screen capture software um, and I'm just gonna call this uh, let's say practical DLL okay um, from there I'm gonna select that folder let's just go back quickly and say select folder select folder okay so it will be created in that folder and I called it university library and I uh, selected a class library I'll click OK and after that it's gonna fire it up come on okay so it creates a default uh, class one and you have one class created for you and it's called class one what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rename this class um, and make it the parent class which is student remember you're gonna have two other classes that inherit from the student class so I'm gonna click yes for that okay and it creates my student class um, from there I'm gonna create maybe my two other classes so I'll click add uh, class or you can click new item and go to class so I'll just click class as a shortcut uh, I'll just wait for it to load it's taking its time and I'm not a very patient person um, but probably because of the screen capture software it's making my PC lag anyway um, once I've created uh, the uh, once I've got into this window I just want to create a boxer and I'll click add and the next one will be another class so I'm gonna create another class okay and I want to call this class uh, golfer okay and um, something that we did last term is that we did a little bit of inheritance you didn't write that in your test but you just use a semicolon and then you write the, the class where you would like to inherit. So golfer inherits from student, meaning that all the information that's found in student golfer will be able to access. So student will store just general information about a student, whereas a golfer will store more specific information. Same thing with boxer, I go to my boxer, I put a semicolon and then I write student. Okay. Pretty simple. I'm not gonna put any information in here, you guys can fiddle around with that, you know about that coding. Um, same thing with student, I'm not going to put any information, I'm just going to show you how to create the DLL. From there, what you can do is you can click, uh, sorry, you can click build, mm, sorry, let's wait for it to rebuild. Okay, once it's done building, you just right click over here and you click build, okay, and that will create the DLL. I can show you the DLL that it's created by right clicking here and open folder in file explorer I go my bin my debug and there's the DLL that was created now this DLL is the one that holds all the classes that I'm gonna need we'll just close that down over there sorry and I wanna add a new project now pay attention to where I'm clicking when I was adding my classes I right clicked over here on the actual um, uh, class library um, project but now I'm clicking the whole solution and I'm right clicking and I'm saying add and I'm saying um, new project now this time I'm not creating a class library but I'm creating it could be a Windows Forms application a WPF Windows uh, presentation uh, 
foundation application or console application we're just going to create a windows uh, forms application i'm going to call it uh, sports bureau sports uh, i'm going to kill myself with the spelling bureau whatever however you spell it anyway um, once you've done that i'm not going to fill around with the location or anything i'm just going to leave it the way it is but you could have created this somewhere else i'm not going to fill around with that and i'm going to click ok once that is completed it's going to create for you a, a project named Sports Bureau. Now you need to bear in mind that now you have uh, two projects in this one solution. Two projects in one solution. Your solution is called University Library. You can change the name of the solution over here if you if you really want to, and that's just the prop in the properties window. Uh, I'm not going to fill around with that. You guys don't need to fill around with that for now. Now, a one thing that might be important. Um, when you try run this, it, it might give you an error. It's probably going to give me an error. It gives you a, pr a project with an output type of class library cannot be started directly, which means that you can't run a you can't run a, a class library. Sorry about that. It was my phone. Um, so what you need to do is you need to click the project that has the form, which is this one. So if I click this project and I right click it and I say um, set a startup project. When I run it this time, it'll run the Windows Forms app Forms application. That's a common error that some people sometimes get. Now, the the big thing that you want to do now is you you probably want to add the reference. So remember, in first year, you had to add a reference for Windows Forms. Same procedure over here. You right click, and you go add reference. You go to browse, and um, I'm just gonna go right out of here so that we get to the right project. Now, remember I called the whole the folder Practical DLL. I'm going to double click that. I go to the University Library. I go to um, University Library. I go to Bin. Go to Debug, and I click the the actual DLL. I click Add. That'll add it to this whole list of DLLs that you may have been using. Once you've done that, make sure that the correct one is selected. You click OK. Okay. And then the University Library um, DLL would have been added now. Let's say we wanted to use this in our form, so I'm just going to be just using a very simple example. Uh, our you need the namespace, which is using uh, university library, and it will show up immediately. If it doesn't show up, you probably created your files in the incorrect order or something like that, and you can just start it again. Um, from there, now I have access to all those classes. Um, within the university library. So if I wanted to create a student object, so I'll say student uh, in me is equal to new student and that will create a, a student uh, object. Now I'm surprised it's not giving me an error. Maybe if I it's supposed to give me an error of the student doesn't have a constructor that takes zero but um, it's not giving me an error meaning I'm not as smart as I perceive myself to be. Let's just build and see if it's going to give me an error after I build. Now it says build succeed. So that's simply how you create a class library with uh, all all your your classes within it, and and then you implement that in your your forms application. You could do this with the ASP.NET application. It's all the same. Now the beauty of this is you could use the same class library for multiple um, platforms. So you could use it for your for your Windows Phone app, or you could use it for your um, uh, ASP.NET app and your Windows Form app, and all in combination will use this one class library. It means you don't have to create new classes. Um, let's say I wanted to create a boxer. Uh, we'll just say uh, boxer. Um, boxer. Okay. Now boxer is not showing up, so let's go have a fill around and see what could the the problem could be what the problem could be. Let's try putting public in here. Yeah. So uh, programming is about getting into trouble and trying to get yourself out um, without panicking. So let's try that again. We have to build that once more because I made a change to my class library. So I hit build. Okay. And once it's built, it should update what's in here. But just as a precaution, let's maybe build the whole um, build the whole uh, um, build our whole uh, solution. Can I do that? No. Let's just build this one as well. And after that we can try add a boxer. 
There we go, and boxer shows up. So this is sort of the protection level that was giving me a problem. 